He's full of shit, but he gives you tips. It's just a possible advice. Today, we're going to talk about something that's really important. If you are a human being, you're eventually going to run into people like in the real world this is problematic these people might want to have conversations with you especially if they know you so uh today i'm going to present my top five tips for avoiding or getting out of a conversation so first tip you're at a club right you're at a you're at a you're going you're doing the you're doing doing the clubbing. Someone comes up to you and they want to know what your political affiliation is. An easy way to get out of it is just set the club on fire. Some of you may be saying like, well, don't I have to like then, you know, pay for the damages or like go to jail if they catch me? Yeah, if they catch you, don't let them catch you, dummy. That was number one. Or I guess number five. That was number five because you're supposed to you're supposed to count backwards in these things, right? Number four. Say that you are at like um, a friend invited you to a, a party with strangers. Yikes! And someone comes up to you and says, "Hey, like this is a pretty great party, right?" Here's the way you're gonna get out of that conversation. Okay, this one's pretty simple. You're just gonna set that person on fire. I know this seems similar to the previous one, but last tip was about setting a place on fire. This one's about setting a person on fire. Granted, the punishments for it are a little more severe. Like, I think the punishments for murder are probably, although if you set a club on fire, chances are people are going to die in the fire. So it's a choice between like potentially mass murder or just like killing one person. But if you live in an area where there is a death penalty, you're going to want to avoid that one. Don't set people on fire if you're in a death penalty area. You got to be smart about these things. You can't just go setting people on fire willy nilly. So that's tip number four. Set the person on fire. Deal with the aftermath later. Tip number three. Okay, so you're at like a grocery store, right? And you see someone from high school. If you actually talk to them, it's going to turn into a whole thing where it's like, oh, what have you been up to? Oh, well, pretty much just masturbating and playing video games for the last 10 years. You don't want to have that conversation with that person. So here's what tip number three is. You're going to start grabbing items off of the shelves, whichever aisle you're in. I mean, the canned goods is problematic and so are like the the medicines anyway whatever you can find in the aisle that you're in you're going to open it and start eating it now why would you do that simple because store security is going to get on your ass and they're going to haul you out of the store i know you're just saying like why don't i just leave the store completely i'll just do shopping at another time uh because dummy i'm sorry that seemed really mean for no reason because if you Put on some crazy display in the grocery store, you're increasing the chances that that person will never want to go to that grocery store again. Now, I guess that is a little bit mean to the grocery store on some occasions because you're like taking away from their business, but fuck it. You gotta avoid these conversations, folks. Tip number three, start eating shit in a grocery store. I've realized these are all very specific. It's like they're not generally applied, but we all run into these situations in life when we're fucking clubbing or to partying or it's this grocery store shopping for the groceries tip number two you just got done doing a public speech talking public you talking to the public about doing the doing the, the you just gave your first your if your first and last ted talk and afterwards inevitably people are going to want to come up to you and like ask you questions about your ted talk or let let you know how much you inspire them you don't want to talk you just told everyone all the things they needed to know in your speech and they should have been paying attention to that so how do you avoid that conversation if someone comes up to you and they're like oh, i loved i loved your talk and it changed my life and let's let's talk about this how are you gonna avoid this situation you ask well it's quite simple tip number two they say your lessons your speech has changed my life and you're gonna say yeah, when I heard Hitler say it, it changed my life too. Now, this one's a little harder to pull off because we do live in an era where you can like, you can Google things and you can find out what Hitler said. And chances are whatever you were talking about, I don't know what your speech was about, but it chances are Hitler didn't say it unless you're in like very specific areas. So you're doing one of those weird TEDx talks. Tip number two, 
just say that all of your thoughts are basically what Hitler thought. And you got to save the best tip for last. So you've got tip number one, which is perhaps the most important tip of all. You're at work, right? And, and your boss comes up to you and he's like, Hey, uh, I need to have a talk with you about your performance and where you plan to d go with this company. Now that shit, you don't want to have a fucking conversation with your boss about where you're going with this company. You just want to give me, the, give me the money, boss. So tip number one, you're going to ask your boss real quick. Oh, can I like, I'm going to run to the restroom real, really quick so that you can have my full attention. Once you're in the bathroom, you wanna set an alarm for about a minute. Now, you're gonna go back out. You're gonna go with your boss to the break room or, or their office, wherever they wanna have this conversation, right? They're gonna start talking to you about like, you know, this is the machine and all the cogs have to work in the machine for the machine to be a machine. Otherwise, it's just a bunch of metal. Then. Your alarm's gonna go off. So, you're going to reach into your pocket. You're gonna say, excuse me, boss, sorry, one moment. You're gonna pretend it's a phone call. And then you're going to say, hello? Oh, hi, wife. Oh my lord, you are having our child? That is a shock, wife. I will be right to the hospital. I, to where you will deliver this baby. Then you will hang up the phone and say, boss, I'm sorry, I really wanna have this conversation but my wife is having a baby and you're gonna storm out of there. Now I know some of you may be females. I mean, my viewership is mostly male. So most, most of the people who are here are wondering all these things, how to get out of conversations uh, aren't are male, but females, I have another option for you. So the way it's gonna work if you're female, right? Same scenario, pick up the phone though. You're gonna be like, oh, hello, husband. What? I am having a baby. I better go to the hospital. I will be at the hospital momentarily, husband. And then you got to hang up your phone and say, I'm sorry, boss. I really want to have this conversation with you, but it turns out I'm having a baby. Now, um, just, just to throw it out there, I know n not everyone, in fact, most of you probably aren't married. So you could just replace like husband with like, hello, girlfriend, or hello, boyfriend. It's, it's simple. Kids, kids are born to unwedded couples all the time. So there you have it. Tip number one, say that either your wife is, your girlfriend wife is having a baby or you're having a baby because who knows? So there you have it. There's my top five tips for how you're gonna get out of having conversations which of these tips helped you the best which tip do you do you use that's not like any of these tips post them in the comments section below and i'll read them and be like those tips are garbage mine are the only ones that make any kind of sense that's why i'm on youtube share this with all your friends who are awkward and try to get out of conversations whenever they can share this on social media to be more socially aware of things. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. He's full of shit, but he gives you tips. It's just a possible advice.